Kalama Ula Homestead, where my father and his siblings grew up. And Uncle Jarrett, or George uh, Jr., grew up here also. In order for us to tell this story correctly, it was absolutely necessary that we connect to the Haumohana and ask for their blessing. It was also important for us to bring the crew to Kalama Ula Molokai so that they could feel the spirit and presence of the people and place that helped raise George Helm, this inspirational activist and talented Hawaiian musician. Get ready and action! <laughs> my name is uh, Kaliko Mai. My father is uh, Steve Mai. My father was, was playing music, and he saw George one evening, and George uh, said, hey, "Hey, I need a new bass player. You think you'd be my bass player?" And he's just thinking about it. Maybe. Uh, Dad went home. 5:30 in the morning, <clears throat> I hear my dogs go off, and and I wake up to this. Steve, Steve. I was like, who, who the hell is this? So I got up because, you know, I just got home almost, you know. I said, Judge, what are you doing here? He says, oh. You think you've been my bass player? <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. And so the last year before Uncle George was with us, uh, Dad, Dad played music with him and, and you'll see a skinny guy, skinny Hawaiian guy next to him. That's my dad. Because uh, during that time, a lot of footage was done of him. Uh, a lot of footage, uh, he's, got, he's got no shirt on. And nobody said anything, so I said, oh, sure, I'll play without my shirt. Don't want, you know. I was just a skinny little rat anyway at that time. So that's how you can know <laughs> that's him. <laughs> that's the reason I've been very uh, fascinated with George, because, you know, my fascination with my dad. They used to sing like the Everly Brothers, remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and they were slick. They had their nice clothes and yeah, they used to sing at all the carnivals and everything. My sister them used to swoon. Oh, he's so handsome. They can sing. <laughs> but all the Helm boys, yeah, everybody. All the girls is in love with the Helm boys. George was a very a deep, soulful person, you know, with his music, but also in his. Uh, you know, the way he took his music and created his platform to share his message, yeah. But the topic is sensitive, um, even to the family and, uh, you know, a lot of us on island. It's still emotional. It still has, has that sting. And, you know, even though other people have come, they've wanted, you know, they've written stories, they've done things, they've published things, they wanted to make films. It didn't feel right. But for Aina, when I, you know, when Aina did come up to me and did explain to me what was happening and stuff like that, my feeling initially was, okay, this is finally somebody who is Hawaii, from Hawaii, grew up with that, that would have the enough respect for the family and the ohana for Uncle George and for Molokai to do it in a pono way. If it's going to be told, then it should be told from somebody that has that, that ike and that na'au. We have our relationship with Aina through the canoe. You know, we're, we're uh, Ohana that way. We, we, we call it Ohana Va'a. And I've had the opportunity to sail with Aina on one of the lakes on the Worldwide Voyage, Malamohono Voyage. And I guess when you sail with someone, you, you wholeheartedly trust because you put your life in with them, yeah? I remember Uncle Jarrett very, very well. His love, his humor, which is like all the helms. Plenty of humor. <laughs>
playing laughter. <laughs> Music. In the morning, my aunt and papaya. Hey, it is a work in this land. Papa, he grow the cantaloupe. Water deep and now with the washer so. They teach us to stay alive and wait. Did you see him transport you back to the past? At certain angle, certain angle that he looks, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Poor Eva and I have full Eva and Oh yeah. Then when the, you know when they put when he sings, I can see hear the, the difference because I still remember George Floyd. He mm -hmm. was. It was, it was a little magical. higher, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could, I could still hear it. And then I, and then they played a record, I think, in between. Mm -hmm. Real voice. Oh, oh, so you came out of him or what? <laughs> oh, the crazy spirit is here. Like I said in the beginning, everyone that's here is supposed to be here. And all we're doing is honoring this man, his family, and this Aino. Even the idea to come to Molokai was probably later than it should have, but no way we would have got what we got without being here and being as tied as we've become. And so, the idea of setting out and journeying with you folks, becoming Ohana as a crew, Absolutely feel that. Can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're not done yet though. As a Protect Kaho'olawe Ohana member, George is really our hero. And he is the example of pure aloha aina, ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, I miss my brother. Well, I, you know, sometimes, you know, even if I'm kupuna stage, I still dream about my brother a lot. Good kind stuff, I dream about him. But anyway, I think this is the right time. Kaliko, you, I know, all the, the film team, who me? I know it's gonna come out really well. I know you guys work real hard, you know, to get to this point. But I, I feel uh, very confident that there's gonna be a message that's gonna be spread out. Not only in Hawaii, I think all over the world. We really are grateful and privileged and honored to just share a small bit of George's great story with the world and so mahalo to you uh, for any support that you can offer in helping us do that. Mahalo. Everybody good? That's good? Okay, that's a wrap. Woo!